Gravity Bone was a free game. This costs five dollars or your regional equivalent. It's described as a gaming short story. I would ask one question though. Even though this is apparently a very short game, w will someone please explain to me why it's got this many options and why full budget releases don't? I'm sorry, but you should be embarrassed if you happen to be a major developer or publisher when you've got. Oh, look at it, list. Look at it all. Look at all of this stuff you can do. I can activate all of these wonderful things. I don't know what half of them mean, but I can activate them. Am I right? Yes, indeed I am. There you go. Wow, wonderful. All right. So, this is the sequel to Gravity Bone. Gravity Bone, if I recall correctly, can be beaten in about eight minutes. So let's just do them both. Because <laughs> I just have a, a feeling I'm not going to understand 30 Flights of Lovin' if I don't do Gravity Bone. So you know what? Let's do Gravity Bone, and then we'll go on to 30 Flights of Lovin' and try and figure out what the hell's going on. Gravity Bone, onward. Well, it's wonderfully stylized, as you might imagine, with fantastic... Big band music in the background. Welcome to the Saturday Club Business Initiative. And onward we go to the furnace room. One could say that this party is somewhat full of squares. Am I right, guys? Yes? Nah, I will be in the furnace room. Shoving my head into the furnace. It's probably for the best. Onward to the furnace room, yes. Don't you dare clip through me. It's quite frankly a disgraceful and horrendous activity. Well... We'll have a quick leap and a skip and a bound, if we so desire. Space to jump. Let us find what we can find. Oh! What could it possibly be? Deliver this something to this something. Is that red text on red background? Truly an artistic choice. On we go. The big band music continues to play, and suddenly I feel less joyous about the whole thing. Oh yes, I also completely forgot what I was doing. I was supposed to deliver this to the man in the something. Let me guess, there's probably no objective screen, all things considered. Why did I not pay attention? Why? Paying attention requires far too much effort, evidently. <sighs> My career in the gravity bone has already been ruined by the fact that I cannot follow basic instructions. What I'm doing is extending the length of the game for you. Since it clearly only lasts for about eight minutes. I am staff. Thank you. There you go. I look like staff, I smell like staff, I am very clearly staff. The man with the red... I, I can't even read the remainder of this sodding thing. It's at the wrong angle. Oh, well. I'd love to say that I can very clearly hear what he's saying in the background, but I cannot at all. So, never mind. The man with the red something. Alright. Onward we go. Yes, somehow I think it might be that guy. Greetings. Have this. You'll probably die horribly. Lord knows why there are so many seaplanes. That's probably for the best that we don't know. Find the exit. Let us do just that. Well, what a wonderfully linear experience we're currently having. The music is wonderful. That I can very clearly say. Where, where is the exit? That looks like the exit. Outward we go. Thank you. I'm sorry, folks, but I have to split. Your party is just, quite frankly, too dull for me. Congratulations. The Manitoba Beast Bug placed into the wine glass was successfully delivered to the target individual. With persistence and ingenuity we can detect the Manitoba Beast Bug's puny gases and track the target individual across the galaxy. Our clients are pleased. Wondrous! <laughs> of course! 